Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, as the title says below, this is going to sort of be a part two to my book haul from February because I have a bunch of things here that I want to share with you guys that I got in February, but into also March so I have a bunch of items outside of books I did receive two more books in the mail so I wanted to share that with you guys as well as give you guys a little update on what's been going on why you guys haven't seen Bible study videos why I haven't been completely um active if that makes sense so we're gonna get into that the first things first we're gonna knock out these two books that i got in the mail so both of these are from rebel of course i work with rebel and bethany house they're all under baker publishing group but they have separate um publishing houses so they have bethany house publishing baker books um baker academics i think it is they have rebel they have chosen so i work with them for um multiple different book reviews and things like that and I received two books in the mail so the first one is Out of the Embers by Amanda Cabot and this is book one in the Miss Quiet Springs I think that's how you say it um and all that I know is it takes place in 1850s um Texas Hill Country so it's historical fiction you guys know I say this almost every video I'm, I'm really trying to get up there with my historical fiction suspenses so I opted to check this one out and requested it for review um and i like the cover for some reason and i believe those are lavenders you guys know how i love about how i feel about lavender the color lavender the smell of lavender um but yeah this is a nice um cover i think it's really nice simple and sleek um and i like the model on the cover as well so yeah out of the embers um it says a young woman with a tragic past has arrived in town and trouble is following close behind so her name is evelyn radcliffe she is homeless because 10 years after, oh no, 10 years after her parents were killed, she becomes homeless again. Um, the orphanage that was her refuge and later her workplace was burnt down to the ground and only she and a young orphan girl has escaped. Oh my God, that's so sad. So this is going to be interesting. It says suspenseful, sweetly romantic, out of the embers is the first in a new series that invites you to the Texas Hill Country in 1850s. When the West was wild, the men were noble and the women were strong. So I'm interested to check this out. Hopefully it's good. It sounds like it's going to be interesting. So we have that. Okay, the next book I got was Chasing the White Lion by James R. Hannibal. This is the second book in the, oh my God, what is it called? What is the series called? I don't even know. I think it's the Talia, Talia series. I don't know what the series is called. I will put the series name on the screen. But um, this is book two because I do own book one, which is the Griffin Heist, um, by James R. R. Hannibal. Yeah, James R. Hannibal. These are both sort of like suspense novels that deal with the CIA. Yeah, CIA. Um, and it follows Talia Inger. So um, it. It's hard to explain. I read this and enjoy it, but I'm going to have to reread it because I wasn't like fully immersed in it. I, I, I think I started annotating. Yeah, like I had started annotating in the book and then I gave up on annotating because yeah. So I'm definitely going to be rereading this one, of course, before I get into this. But this is a sequel, Suspense, CIA. Yeah, I know how I feel about that. So we have that. All right. So now we are going to get into... Mm, some stuff so let me just talk about my phone i have a new phone i'm recording on it it is a galaxy note 10 plus um and i have the all black one and my mom surprised me with it um it literally was like a surprise because what my mom normally does is she normally just flat out buys new phones but she never goes to t-mobile because obviously t-mobile is armor like just saying um so she normally goes to a side store and when i say a side store i mean like those um phone mobile stores that sells actual phones that's where she goes to buy phones um and they're normally like great phones we always get a galaxy my mom and i are definitely galaxy lovers we're android lovers samsung lovers yes my other three siblings um you know they're iphone users now we don't do those <laughs> no um no shade to iphone people i i think iphones are cool but they also have a lot of issues for me my thing is i've dropped my cell phone so many times so many times i've never had my screen crack um 
on my old phones this is a new phone this one i believe is completely glass so we're gonna be a little careful but um my other phones i have never i've scratched them up i've dented them up but i've never had to go take them to a store iphones don't have that capability you drop your iphone and you pretty much gonna have a cracked screen or the the inside of your screen is gonna be messed up. i ain't got time for that I, I just i don't and especially with a six-year-old it don't work that way so um yeah i stuck with galaxies and i definitely wanted a note i've always wanted a note specifically for the pen not gonna lie i've always just wanted a note for the s pen and because of the camera um and surprisingly we went into t-mobile and she got them because my phone and her phone were definitely um were it was time for new phones we had our phones for about three four years um and that's the thing about my mom and i we can keep our phones for a long time <laughs> before we go and upgrade and switch but um our phones were both bugging out i would not receive texts people would say they were calling me and um i wasn't receiving any phone calls i remember my mom used to get upset my fiance used to get upset i'm just like i didn't get a phone call i I didn't get a text so it was like really irritating especially when my leaders were like i called you and i'm like i didn't get a call that that's not good for business it's not good for personal it's not good for ministry work um so and my mom's phone started bugging out as well with her bluetooth and her getting phone calls and she would get phone calls could answer them but people couldn't hear her or she couldn't hear it was just time for new phones so we got new phones brand new phones she paid for them and um and we were both shocked because like i said my mother never goes to the store like the actual t-mobile store to buy a new phone she always goes to a side store and gets a t-mobile phone from them or a samsung phone and then gets it activated with t-mobile but um this time she just it was a, literally a random day and we just went in she bought them shockingly um and we, we took the last two that were in stock because they were getting ready for the release of the s20 which who in their right mind created the s20 okay first of all how you go from the s10 to the s20 I mean, unless there was, like, other phones in between there that I don't know about. But did y'all do that because it's, like, 2020? I don't know. Just Samsung, explain. Whatever. But, um, yeah. Um, we didn't want the new Samsungs. And I really wanted us to both have a note because I need it for, um, business reasons, which with, with the S Pen as well as my mother needs it for business reasons. So we went with the, the, um, Note 10. And I love my phone so much. I love it so much. It has 256 gigabytes. Let me just, I have the bag here. Um, so... It has 256 gigabytes, if I am not mistaken. I'm taking the box out of the bag. But, yes, yeah, so we have the all-black one, um, and it is 256 gigs in here. I know it's on the box somewhere. Yes, it's 256 gigs, which for me is excellent because, I like I said, I like to make videos. I need to do a lot of things, and I want to use my phone for just more than one thing, and um, I can have all of my apps. I have downloaded apps that I used to have back in 2012 back onto this phone because this phone has so much space, including my Sims games. I love the Sims Mobile, and I love the Sims Free Play, and the fact that I can have them both on my phone again with other games. I downloaded Mario Kart. This is, like, so random, but I downloaded Mario Kart. Um, I downloaded Pokemon, like, I downloaded games because I get bored sometimes, you know? Um, so that's that. Um, I did get, we both got two temporary phone cases, um, and we basically got the same phone cases in different colors. So I have this lavender, of course. Um, the first one I tried on was actually rose gold, and I liked the rose gold, but it wasn't clicking with me until I tried this one on, because in the case, it looked like straight up purple, and I didn't want like a purple purple. I wanted something more lavender, and this definitely leans lavender. Um, I don't even know who this case is by. Don't know, but we got it at the mall, um, and I think it was $20 for this case. 20 or 15 can't remember um but i got the lavender one um so the inside is lavender it's two-piece uh silicone in the hard portion which it is amazing the sides are this like metallic lavender and then on the back it looks like that yeah see it is so pretty so i got this one and then my mom ended up picking up the rose gold one so we both had that then we went to five and below because i needed to get a portable charger we both needed portable chargers um and that was like a necessity and then i decided i wanted to get another case because i want to get a what is it called a pop socket i think that's what they call like the little rings so i picked up this gray one it's like a basic phone case it's clear on the back <laughs> um gray around and i want to get a rose gold um ring or pop socket to put one to the back of this so that when i'm out and about and i want to keep my phone case real simple um i can have that and be able to be on the go so like i said i got it from five and below I mean, do I need to explain? Five and below, five dollars. <laughs> Pretty much. But, um, we have that. 
so i think that is it for now let me take a sip so i have my uh vanilla caramel latte from um maxwell house so good and um i want to get into this portion right now with my macaroons so we went to the mall twice <laughs> we went to this mall twice okay um and i okay let me backtrack let me backtrack first okay so i don't know if you guys remember last year i had went to texas with my bishop and my senior pastor um we went to texas for an ordination service for his brother who's also a pastor um and while we were there my first lady took us to this kind of like outlet spot and that's where i had purchased my first michael kors um wallet as well as a mark new york wallet but while we were in the mall i came across this company called whoops and um i posted up something on instagram if i can find it i'll put it here um but it was like a little thing where i was showing you guys the macaroons and the one that i had was honey lavender it was so delicious so i went onto the website and they have a website which i'll leave linked down below they're basically a um a bakery they they make french macarons but with um american flavors um kind of similar to donna's bakery which i also want to try them out they're also new york based um but yeah so i have been on a hunt for this location every time we went to a mall i was looking in this mall that we went to had it so i got the i i got the business card okay i was not playing i needed it but um the company is called whoops and the website is buywhoops.com. I will leave it down below. But they make macarons. And they sell them. So they have six. You can buy six for $16.50. Um, or you can buy 12 for $30. Now, basically, you save $3 if you buy the 12 count instead of buying two of the six counts. Um, because if you buy two of the six counts, it's $33. If you buy the 12 count, it's $30. Um, they have six, 12, and I don't know how much, like how far you can go on how far you can go if you buy it like at the actual kiosk but on their website they don't do it by that they do it by 9 18 27 and 36 they also have larger ones which they do towers towers of 40 75 and i believe 200 um keep in mind it is pricey i agree um it's like 250 per macaron and they are not the biggest things of course if you guys don't know what a macaron is it's basically a french cookie um it's like a cookie cake is what i say it's like hard on the outside Soft on the inside with a cream or a, um, I think it's ganache, is that how you say the word? Or like a jam on the inside. Um, but I'm gonna show you this first box because it's, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I've been snacking on this one here. Okay. So, <laughs> I've been snacking on this one. This is their mint chocolate, you guys. First of all, first of all, this tastes like a peppermint patty. A peppermint patty, okay? Peppermint patty. It is so good. Um, mm. and um, macaroons are made with almond flour. I'm not a huge fan of almonds. Sorry, if you guys are my brothers, they're back. I'm not a huge fan of almonds, but I like the subtlety in theirs. Um, I've had macaroons before that they're very heavy on the almond flour. I don't like almond milk unless it's in like a smoothie or a milkshake but but um it's so good so good sorry guys so i have three more left in here um this red one is red velvet it's my mother's this is strawberry another mint chocolate chip okay and then 12 count I have some of my favorites in here. Now, I'm obsessed, you guys, with this one. This is their Honey Lavender. You see that? It's so pretty. I'm actually going to eat one today. So good. Um, But yeah, I had Honey Lavender because, like I said, I'm obsessed with this. This one is a birthday cake. Um, This was brand new. I tried it with my son. I like it. I just don't like that they have sprinkles on it. Um, There are sprinkles on this one. I don't care for that. This one is cookies and cream. And then these are vanilla. Um, So, I'm going to take one of each because we need to eat these. And then I'm going to put these inside up here. 
sorry if you guys hear my brother um he is pretty loud so i'm actually gonna ask him to quiet down before i get to the next portion of what i want to talk about okay guys i don't know if it's gonna work my brother just no respect <laughs> when i'm making videos but whatever um so yeah i have I, I have a major love for these they're so delicious um, and i love that they don't have that strong um almond taste so i'm just gonna snack on these here but yeah so while we were at the mall i got this sweater um my brother's head went to zios which is a men's store of course and um i saw the sweater one because of the color both of the colors on here got me it had my birthday year on it and i thought it would be nice to wear outside i really honestly want to wear it in the house and sleep in it but my mom thinks i'm crazy but um it's this lavender lavender hoodie um it says exclusive it has mint green on it and then it says real 1991 um i was born 1991 june 3rd just saying but um the sleeves also have something on it i really didn't pay attention to the sleeves exclusive the inverted tech district yeah I, I wasn't paying attention to the sleeve i just saw the color um which i love both the colors so this other sleeve has something on it as well too and there's nothing on the back but y'all know y'all know lavender is my color so i got this this was 15 bucks um and i i'm excited to wear this um then we had went to tj maxx and my mom got me this bb bag which i adore okay so they had this bb bag in this lavender they had it in mint they had it in um a blush pink yeah i know how i feel about my lavender right lavender of course so yes i got this bb bag um and this is called the alia stud shopper in lilac um this bag retails for 129 dollars we don't pay that i think she paid like 30 bucks for this bag um and she is gorgeous she is definitely gorgeous so we have a new lavender bag i know lavender everywhere right um then i had got a new dress for dance ministry of course um i wanted to i was on a hunt for a pink and gold dress for a long for like over two years um and i never could find the right one but i finally found one and it fits perfectly you guys perfectly i'm not gonna take it out but um i have this pink and gold i'm actually gonna be wearing it this month i'm so excited and sorry if i'm looking like everywhere i'm gonna get used to the camera it, it's right there but um okay so the last portion of this video i want to do a haul for some stuff that i got from one of my sisters at church she has started a business in which she is selling brooches you've probably seen the pictures on instagram i yeah i've been like obsessed so I had purchased five my mom had purchased two and then my sister had purchased one now realistically my mother had purchased majority of these and then i bought two on my own so i paid for two of mine and then my mom had purchased the other three for my for me and then the ones for her we do have more brooches coming from her because she does have monograms and i specifically um put in a request for a rose gold plate with lavender diamonds in it yes and then i want that one um and then i also requested for a sort of like small lavender bow with a pearl brooch in it i can't wait i have to text that and then we also get monograms i'm getting two mono well three monograms i'm getting the s for my name shanae the n for my nickname which is nay and then i want a d which will symbolize my middle name and also d for doi so i'm super excited for those but we have our little baggies here let me just say presentation wise she did that she did that um you you guys know i love me some rose gold okay i'm sorry again i'm looking this way i should be looking this way okay sorry i love rose gold i think it's pretty i love the navy blue with the pop of gold i i love this on the inside you have your mint um wrapping paper the items are wrapped and then she has little diamonds at the bottom which i'm not going to throw them out because i can use them for like photos and stuff but i'm trying to pull a few out but they're like little false rhinestones in the bottom i think they're just so freaking cute with another tissue paper if you guys can see so i'm gonna show mine's last so let me show you guys my sisters i think this is my sister's bag yes so my sister got a dragonfly 
and it's cute the dragonfly is really really cute um it looks like that this is why i love my phone you guys it auto focuses my other phones did not auto focus with the front camera but the dragonfly is just everything i love these colors uh with that blue rhinestone in the center just so so gorgeous and that's what the clip on the back looks like so i and, and me i used to hate brooches i'm not gonna lie i used to hate them because i always thought they were grandma-ish i would see my like my grandmother wear them and i'd be like ew <laughs> or i would like see the mothers and the churches um <laughs> wearing them and i'd be like why are they wearing them ugly things and i mean they weren't pretty they were wearing them large oversized ugly ones i just i didn't care for brooches um but i know that chanel has a sh like there's a chanel brooch and i think other high-end brands do it first of all i ain't paying money for that kind of brooch i'm just not gonna do it um that's just number one and recently i found out that there are like so many other brooches out there in the world which is bad because i was a fashion major in school and really didn't know this so again i apologize if you guys are my brother so moving on to my mother's bag she has two pearl ones in here um but one of the pearl ones she actually has is one that i really really wanted but um i opted for another one um so here's the first one which is a little oversized for me but i'm not gonna take it out the packaging but it looks like that i love the large pearls with the um it kind of reminds me of a starfish with oysters i don't know why i just thought about that but that looks really pretty and then this is oh and the clip on the back of that one looks like that this is the one that i really wanted but i opted for another one but this is just gorgeous 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 i might have to purchase this when she restocks but here it is you have your four large your five large pearls um your white floral detailing and your rhinestones it's just really really stinking pretty and the back just looks like a clip. So. Those are the brooches my mom picked out. So those were her two. And then my five. Y'all know I had to support her. Um, And the crazy thing is. I gotta tell you guys. The crazy thing is I saw her posting about these brooches for almost a week. And didn't realize it was her company. I thought it was like somebody she was supporting. It wasn't until she posted up an Instagram post. And I was like, oh, really? Then I went on the Instagram page of Kay's Brooches. And I'll leave it down below. Kay's Brooch, Kay's Brooch Boutique. And I clicked on it. I looked through it. I was like, oh, okay. She's a model for this person. Cool. And then I, sl I, I, I scrolled down to see a photo of herself and her email. I'm like, really? Really? You didn't share this? Mm no so you know i had to clean her out <laughs> i had to clean her out got five i got five my mom got two my sister got three that's eight um she came to church probably with like 10 12 we cleaned her we, we cleaned her out okay so um she also has a b one that i really want i think i want the dragon but i'm not y'all see problems anyways so my five are in here and i just have them wrapped up in two separate um gift wrap so the first two are the largest ones this okay so this one for the longest i couldn't i didn't know what it was because of how she had the picture i assumed it was a peacock at first but i wasn't 100 percent sure but it's definitely a peacock and um this one is a vertical one oh, do you guys see that first of all i love that this has a uh, lavender it's, on, it's only one in here but right if you guys can see this one here is lavender you're not gonna see it unless i do that but this one here is like a purplish lavender one i love it so much but this peacock is like everything you guys everything and it's rose gold and i just love the bright pinks blues greens like it's it's everything and more the yellow the lime green just this is a horizontal clip I'm sorry, a vertical clip. So it does clip vertically. So you basically would clip it onto yourself like this. I am probably going to wear this one on Sunday because I have my black dress that I want to wear. Um, and I'm probably just going to like clip it on somewhere because this, this she's gorgeous. I've, I literally watched a bunch of videos on how to style brooches. I've seen people put these on dresses, skirts, jeans, um, sweaters, cardigans, scarves. I've seen somebody make a headband out of this. And I think this would be really cute as a headband. Just saying. Um, I, I was watching videos, okay? the other one i got is this butterfly 
this is a horizontal but look at she she's gorgeous oh i love the bright colors of this this is going to be perfect on a straight out black dress with no accessories just this oh lord i actually have a black wrap dress that this would look so pretty on on like the side my um son's father has a all black event he's going to um and i don't know if i'm gonna go i think i am i'm not sure um but if i do go i'm probably gonna wear that because he has to wear all black so i think it's a black and white or all black but um, i'm gonna wear my black wrap dress with this <sighs> mm, this i gotta have pop color so i think this is just stunning you guys look at it gorgeous okay gorgeous i, I, I can't do all right so then moving on to the last three these three are tiny ones so they're packaged together so here's my pearl that i got so this is a pearl one that i got and i thought this was like really really pretty i love 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 that it looks like just a blooming flower i think that is gorgeous this is also horizontal and here's the one then these two i purchased myself so my mother purchased the butterfly the peacock and the pearl one for me um and then i purchased these two for myself so here is the um hummingbird i saw this and i was like i gotta have it i gotta have it look at she i just love the way the light reflects on it this one is a little different um it's not like the other clips that um is like a paper clip this one you actually like have to open it you have to open the clasp and then you can like take it out which I thought was interesting. Um, but yeah, this hummingbird is like everything for me right now. Definitely a summer one for sure. Summer, spring. Um, and then I got the owl. I couldn't pass it up. Um, I was debating between this owl and the um, the butterfly. And then when my mother was purchasing, I, I, I kind of like finessed it to get the pearl one that I wanted, the butterfly and the peacock. And then I purchased this one. Um, this one is horizontal vertical i'm sorry this is a vertical one but i love the blues on this gorgeous like i said this one is um vertical i think this is gonna be cute when you like put it on like if you wear like a blue bag and stick it on um i like i said i watch videos learning how to style brooches not just on clothes but on headbands on shoes and even on um hats and purses so i'm not just gonna use these on um sorry I, my phone just popped up with a notification but i'm not just gonna use these on like my dresses i'm gonna use these as accessories on pretty much anything and again this will be cute as like a little headband in my hair so i'm definitely gonna look into investing in some like black headbands or some black scarves or probably just go to the fabric store and get like a bunch of fabric um so that i can make my own scarves for the summer um and as you guys can see i did get my hair done i don't think i mentioned that but y'all know i was struggling with my hair i'm still struggling i'm still losing a bunch of hair on this side um the hair on this side is not as bad but it is starting and i just i don't i don't know but um let's get to what you guys probably want to know about bible study book club and all that so basically i have been dealing with a lot mentally and i, I didn't realize it until a couple days ago and i was like okay maybe that's what's going on um it's kind of like you're going through something but you don't realize you're going through until like the revelation hits you in your face and you're like oh that makes sense so you guys know um it was last year at the end of last year going into the new year I, I announced all the bible studies that i wanted to do as well as the book clubs um and there's a lot of things that god has given me ideas and visions for but i think my problem is is that i'm trying to do everything too quickly and because I am handling DOI by myself and I'm now more heavily active in my ministry at church, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and I'm I'm hands on with my son. So like when he comes home, we do homework and his school doesn't just give him little notebooks with homework. No, he get like reading assignments, science project. He got a science project due next week, Tuesday that we got to work on. OK, um, you know, he gets computer homework where he has to do math homework on one website. He has another computer site that he does. He my son does a lot he learned spanish i have to help him with that so it's becoming too much for me 
um and i'm finding that i'm not finding myself I'm, I'm not being able to have me time and when i know i know that things start getting out of whack when my face breaks out and it probably sounds crazy but um i used to take care of my skin consistently every morning and every night every week i was doing a facial mask every weekend i was having like a mommy and me i slacked on that for years with the mommy weekends and things like that um but my face has been breaking out like crazy like my mom be like your face breaking out i'm like i know and the thing with me is my face doesn't break out i thank god for the skin that i have <laughs> um i've never had to deal with breakouts um but that's also probably due to you know when i was a kid i didn't really wear makeup and i always cleaned my face the way i needed to but um i've just slacked off to the point where i don't do my facial scrubs and i don't do my facial mask and um i don't really deep clean my like all over here you guys can sort of see like some of the bumps they're mostly going away um all over here especially in this area here and under here like here and here these were like the past couple days have been like large on my face um my forehead see when my forehead starts to break out it's fine but when the cheeks chin area here start really breaking out then i know is something going on um and the fact that my hair has been falling out in this area like my son his father notices like my mother like was upset with me because she was trying to understand why my hair was falling out and i honestly believe that um it's because i'm trying to do too much by myself i'm trying to do it quickly and i like to stay busy and i know that sometimes being busy is not a good thing <laughs> um and it's not that I'm, like, being busy just to be busy, but I'm being busy to do things for DOI and to do things for the ministry, but I'm not taking a time for myself. Um, and I used to to make Mondays my me days, where it was just, like, during the week. Like, the weekends, I would have, like, my spa nights and stuff like that, but, like, Mondays are, like, my no work days. Um, but recently, I decided to make Mondays my church days because we have Sunday, and then I do all my work on Monday. That way, throughout the week, I'm not stressed out. Um, and, like I said, being a part of the administrative team heavily and handling all the all the calendars at church um and i'm no by no means blaming my church okay let me just say that i'm by no means it, it might sound like that but i'm by no means saying that i am very grateful to god for um putting me in a position to be able to work with my church ministry wise administrative wise working with my leaders very closely um i love my church i have for the past 10 plus years i i love my church but i'm also learning that i have to balance i haven't been keeping up with my planners like everything has gone by the wayside it's, it's gone over my head it's fallen by the wayside i'm not even gonna lie i have not done my morning devotionals the way i want to in the past couple days and in, in, in the past couple months um i haven't been doing it the way i want to because i would hear my alarm and click it right off like okay i'm not gonna i'll wait I'm like 30 minutes and that 30 minutes turns into an hour then i gotta get up get myself ready and get my son ready not good and um i know out of 24 hours in a day you should at least be giving 10 percent to god and that's two hours and 40 minutes and i want to make it a thing where i can get up an hour before um like four or five o'clock and give god that hour and then before i go to sleep give him that hour and then break my 40 minutes up throughout the day but um i really want to work on giving him that 10 percent of my day i don't do that um bible studies i i don't even know the last time i actually sat and did a bible study honestly i read like keep on i'm in my bible every day don't get me wrong i'm constantly in my bible reading but the way that i used to do my in-depth studying with all of my bibles out it has been a minute and um it's just a lot it's a lot and as much as i want to tackle john john is so freaking long okay and i didn't, I didn't think I, I honestly didn't think this through you know um and then trying to make the live videos and then post on youtube it's like do i make youtube videos do i keep strictly like i mean sorry do i make the live videos and break the live videos up do i do the youtube it's a lot then i have to make the notes for you guys like it's a lot i know you ladies are waiting so i i'm i don't i'm like i don't want to put it on pause because I really want to tackle John, but I feel like I'm going to have to put it on pause and wait till the end of the year and just move some stuff up. So, like, all the other studies will move up and then we'll do John at the end of the year. Because it's just, it's, it's a lot for me right now trying to balance it. And I know you ladies always tell me to take it easy and get some rest. And then I was sick for a couple, couple of weeks, almost like a month and a half or something like that. Um, I'm good now. I still did not go to the doctor, though. Just know that I still never went to that doctor. 
Um, I still have that cough. It's not as bad, but that cough does pop up every now and then. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been a lot. It's been a lot and I'm trying to do everything by myself and I need to stop and it's hard to stop. Um, and I honestly think I keep myself busy so that my mind doesn't wander. Um, cause normally when I'm not busy and my mind wanders, I start thinking about working and why I don't work and why I don't have money and this, that, and a third. And it's a struggle. It is a struggle. Um, and I know that things will work out. God has already told me things are going to work out. He has revealed it to me. He's revealed it to other people. Um, other people have randomly like spoken, uh, uh, uh they basically confirmed the things that I knew. Uh, my mom recently, a couple days ago, confirmed some stuff um, that was revealed to me. So, it's it's a lot. And I don't know how to slow down. I don't. It's complicated. So, I feel like I just need to take a minute to rejuvenate myself spiritually. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> I like making content. And that's the thing. Like, I know that I need to take a month off from DOI. Like, making content and stuff like that. And just focus on me and get back to where i used to be with my word i used to study that word consistently you guys were seeing posts of my bible almost every day i don't know the last time you guys have seen a bible post you've seen book posts but i love books books are my life okay <laughs> but like you guys haven't seen it and i and it, it took me a minute to be like wow when was the last time i posted an image of my bible like me studying my bible it's been a minute i'm still in psalm 69 we've been on this but i'm gonna say almost a year i need to get it together so i, I don't i don't want I, I don't want to take a month i don't maybe two weeks i feel like a month is a month is just too much okay um and i'll make videos but i probably won't upload twice or three times a week it'll probably end up being once a week and it'll probably be on saturdays um just so that i can really get back to where i was spiritually with god um and not to say that i've I've come off misaligned or anything like that but um I just I haven't been in the word the way that I want it to be and it's because and it, it's definitely an, an excuse but it's not like I'm purposely making this excuse it's definitely because I haven't prioritized things correctly um so I need to do that let me take a bite of my honey lavender I'm sorry you guys like isn't she gorgeous gorgeous and I love that this one has like gold on it <laughs> so pretty but um, as you can see, they're hard on the outside and really nice and chewy on the inside. And this one is like, if you're not a fan of lavender, this is strong, okay? Mmm. This is so good. The filling is like filled with honey. Hmm. That's what it looks like when you bite into it. So good. Let me take another some of my coffee and then try the other ones on camera. But I didn't want this to be a super long video, but I did want to do the haul and show you guys some updates and what's been going on. But this one is vanilla. Mmm. That cream is so sweet. Oh my god. Okay. One more. One more. Ooh. This one has like a big chunk of a cookie right there. Mmm. I'll bite it here. <laughs> You taste the cookie. You get that vanilla. It's a subtle, subtle taste. You know what I want to try? I want to try the strawberry. It's pink. They have rose as well, but I'm scared to try the rose. But this is strawberry, and it has jam on the inside of it. Is that glitter? Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was glitter. 
keep in mind the glitter the sprinkles and all that stuff is um edible okay but um let's take a bite mm. that tastes like strawberry jelly you guys know i love strawberry jelly with almond um cookie butter excuse me cookie and almond butter but mm-hmm That's a good one. I think the only one in here is red velvet, and that's my mom, so I'm not going to eat that, of course. But, um, when you order them online, you can, um, what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? You can store them for up to two months, I think it is, in the freezer. Or you can put them in the refrigerator for up to a week. Mmm. But if you buy them in the store, they suggest eating it between four to seven days. Even if you put it in the fridge because um, it's not individually wrapped and secure. So it's been, like I said, since Saturday. We went Friday. No, we went Saturday and we went Monday. So these will definitely be going by the end of the week. But this one is so pretty. So pretty, but... I'm going to end this video here. This video is super long. I didn't mean to make it too long. But just want to update you guys on what's been going on. Because um, I know you, a lot of you are concerned. Um, especially a lot of you have been concerned because I haven't been feeling well. Um, my throat. My voice. Good. Um, I haven't been having my migraines, thankfully. Um, but yeah. I need to really like slow down. And pace myself. And really... I basically have to rework my schedule. The schedule and the way that I did things before is not going to be able to work because I'm now more heavily active um, ministry-wise. So, got to work on that. But, I'm going to end this video here. I was going to make another video. I just don't feel like it. And this is another thing. Like, i just been in the mood where I don't want to make videos. And I know that when I'm in that, I don't want to make videos type of mood. It's either I'm mentally dealing with something or... The Holy Spirit is just like, you need to stop and, and focus on God, okay? So, it's one of those two. But I think right now, it's a combination of both. Because I just... Oh. But, um, just note that I'm alive. I'm well. Um, videos will be coming back the way they should. Um, I'm definitely going to incorporate devotional videos. But, Bible study, I need to figure out how I'm going to rework that. Because I think I'm... And then also, I also do them back to back, so... It's a lot. I know we have book club this month. I'm, I have to remember what day it was. I don't know if it was this week or next week. Gotta push it back. But you guys know how this works. Some things just get changed and pushed back. Um, and it's like I'm going, I'm following God's plan, but I'm also readjusting it to my own plan, which is kind of stupid. So don't ever try to readjust the plan that God has given you. God gave me the ideas to do these specific studies, but I don't think he was telling me to do it back to back bad me but um yeah so gonna end this video here if you are a part of the family thank you so much for being a daughter of increase or a son of increase and if you are not a part of the family subscribe join us i love each and every one of you and again i am almost at 3,000 subscribers i'm mind blown mind blown you guys don't understand how mind blown i am but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye oh and let me know how you like this quality we got new quality going. I love that this, like I said, autofocuses. Because my other camera didn't autofocus. Like, I could put this up to the screen. And it'll focus, you guys. Look at that. Look. Look at God. Okay, God. Won't he do it? He'll do it. And keep in mind, I've been wanting, like I said, a note for years. But I just never wanted to pay the price. And I was blessed with a note. So, yeah. Um, okay, but now I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go edit and um, do some more work, and I'll chat with you guys later.